Hey, this is episode one of a new series I'm doing where you can request me to do a specific tutorial and if I know how to do it, I'll uh, make the video and I'll post it up here and hopefully you can watch it and it can help you out. And so for this episode, a guy over at Cray Designs sent me some of these menu assets and he asked me if I could program it so I could create a simple menu system. And this is actually a really easy thing to program and I'm going to be programming an AS2 for this. So uh, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to check the properties and basically uh, you want to change the dimensions depending on the assets and he gave me all the screens he gave me were 640 by 640 so I'm just going to change that. Background color I'll just, I'll just keep it at white it doesn't really matter at the moment and the frame rate doesn't matter either because you just can be flicking between menus it's not going to be any animation or anything obviously so press ok on that and then I'm going to sort out the assets he gave me so he gave me four panels let's bring them out so I want looks like the first one is going to be chat rules So it's going to be the, on frame 1 and I'm going to press this, the align function, and align it so it's dead centre here. I'm going to make a new blank key frame by pressing F7. And now you want the sponsors panel. That's going to be the, the next one. Same again. So obviously if you're making, if you're following this at home, you're going to be making, uh, you're going to have obviously different pages. but just make sure you've got four pages with different headers or any amount of pages actually, doesn't matter how many pages you've got then it's going to be networks and then right at the end it's going to be other okay so now if I, if I publish the, the flash now it's just going to cycle through them really quickly so what we need to do is I'm going to make a new layer and this layer is just going to be used for code and uh, so rest here I'm going to go to window actions to bring up the actions menu and for this it's really simple you just type in stop brackets space semicolon and because and this will actually stop the frames for all four of them because the keyframes are dragged over here so now you can see that it just stops and it won't budge until you tell it to with a command. The right, next thing you want to do is, let's move this down here. Next thing you want to do is you want to click each individual frame. And what you can do is with frames, you can actually give them instance names. Go to properties and click here. So for this frame, it's going to be the chat rules frame. So I'm going to give it the name chat rules and then press enter. One tip is when you're entering these, uh, press enter right after you've entered them. Don't click on a different frame because it will, the text will go away and it's really annoying. So this one I'm going to give it the name sponsors. This one networks. And then this one is going to be other. All right, so just make a new layer, and I want to put the lock on these two so you don't interfere with them by accident. Okay, so for this one, um, I was already given all the assets, so um, there wasn't any individual ones to make. So for this particular example, I'm just going to make invisible buttons to put over the top of the existing uh, design. And uh, with yours, you may want to make specific buttons which are separate to the rest of it. But for this example, I'm just going to make uh, overlay buttons basically so for this um, you just want to select it doesn't matter what color it is and then you want to make the fill transparent and then just drag over the space where you want the hotspot for the button and then what you want to do is select any color as well for the fill go to color and then right down here which is has the A which stands for alpha you want to put it right down to zero and then click in What's happened is, if you just get rid of the outline, is it, there is there is a 
black ink over this, but because it's alpha zero, it doesn't show up. So it's the perfect overlay. And just press F8 and select graph, uh, symbol type button. Press OK. And then just uh, copy and paste over all your uh, button areas. And uh, just make sure they're all aligned. For this, I won't align them perfectly because it's just an example, but you want basically something like that. Uh, over here is a bit of an overlay, but it doesn't really matter that too much for this. Okay, now for the actual button coding. So I'm going to start with chat rules. So what you want to do is type on release. On release is uh, when you're making buttons, you've got several different options. Uh, on release basically means when once you've clicked the button and you release the mouse click, that's when it's going to activate it. Type, so type that. And then you want to type in go to and make sure you got a capital A. Stop, that needs to be a capital S as well. Go to and stop. Brackets. Now, remember back when we gave the frames names. So for this chat rules, I want to go to the frame chat rules. Make sure you put the apostrophes as well. And uh, bracket and then a semicolon. So uh, for this particular frame, I'm already on chat rules, so when I click it, it won't actually do anything because it's, it's just going to go to the same frame right on. So you want to copy this code and then paste it on each of these buttons. But all you have to do is change the name of the frame. So sponsors, oops, sponsors, networks. And then finally, other. So I've just tested it out, and you can see it makes the the cursor as the button symbol. And uh, so you can just press on any, any of these top tabs, and it'll take you to the frame of that particular header. Also, what you can do as well is um, on this menu, it's got uh, over here, it's got uh, links to different websites uh, where you want to put buttons to link the URLs with. This is really simple as well. So I'm just going to select one of the existing buttons, copy it, and then I'm going to make a new layer. And then I'm going to uh, press F7 to make a blank keyframe for this specific layer. I'm going to paste in the button. I'll just put it over the YouTube logo and then I'm just going to resize it so it fits better. Okay, so to code, uh, to make a button go to a certain URL, it's really simple as well. All you have to do is edit this line of code. So instead of that, you just put get URL in capitals for URL brackets, quotation mark, and for this you're going to have to put the HTTP bit in, forward slash, and then the URL you want. So for this particular example it would be www.youtube.com slash cray designs, and the quotation, bracket, semicolon, and that's all you need to do. So I'll just test that, go to networks, it's a button, and there you go, it takes it to his YouTube page. So I hope this tutorial helped. And if you anyone wants to send me requests in the future, you can leave a comment on this video or just send me a private message on my YouTube account. So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.